Welcome to your walkthrough with Toby Studio, in which we'll show you how to conduct an eye tracking study. Toby Studio is a software package that records and analyzes eye movements with a Toby eye tracker. With Toby Studio, you can create a wide variety of eye tracking experiments, from testing the usability of websites to experimenting with infant attention. Toby Studio runs on Microsoft Windows and collects eye movement data directly from a Toby eye tracker through a network cable or an office network. Installing and setting up the system only takes a few minutes. First, we connect the eye tracker to the computer and then start the Toby Studio software. Experiments in Toby Studio are organized in projects. From this view, you can either open an existing project or create a new one. Let's create a new project for our experiment. We can call it Project A. A project can contain several tests, all with separate timelines. Let's call it Test 1. Toby Studio has three different views. The first view is where you design, set up, and record your study. In the second view, you can replay the recording as a video with the gaze data overlaid. In the third view, you can visualize the eye movements and access statistics for specified areas of interest. There are a number of powerful visualization tools included in Toby Studio, such as heat maps and gaze plots. Let's create our first experiment in Toby Studio. We go back to the design and record view. You can include a variety of different media types or stimuli in a Toby Studio test. Text stimuli are used for showing instructions or plain text to the respondents. Image stimuli are for presenting still images. Movie stimuli are for presenting AVI video clips. Web stimuli are for presenting web pages in Internet Explorer, for example, in a web usability study. Every web page that is visited during a recording is automatically saved. The screen recording function records everything the respondent does on the computer, for example, when using any program on the computer. External video stimuli are used for recording the screen from another computer or device. Scene camera stimuli are used for recording real objects using a video camera and the X120 or X60 eye tracker. Multiple choice questionnaires that require a single answer can be displayed on the screen during a recording. A PDF element displays a browsable PDF document to the respondents. To add an element to an experiment, simply drag and drop the stimulus icon to the timeline. Let's start by adding an image to the experiment. Browse for the image you want to place on the timeline. Then define how long you want the image to be shown to the respondents. In this case, let's say 7 seconds. Now add all the other images you want to include in the same experiment. In a single test, you can combine all elements in any way you like, except the external video and scene camera elements. In the middle of the screen, you can now see the timeline with all the stimuli included in the test. This test now contains a text instruction and timed images. You can move any item around on the timeline freely or have them randomized automatically. Let's start the experiment by pressing the Start Recording button. First add the name of the respondent who will be recorded. You can also define background variables for the respondents. These background variables can be used later as filters when analyzing the eye movement data. 
The track status window now shows the respondent's eyes, which is useful when positioning the eye tracker and the respondent. The automatic calibration routine starts next. During calibration, the respondent is asked to look at points on different parts of the screen. These are the calibration results for both eyes separately. Short green lines indicate that the calibration was successful. When the experiment starts, the objects on the timeline will be shown on the screen and eye movements will be automatically recorded. The first item on the timeline was the instruction, a text stimulus.